Hey gems, what's up? Today we are hitting a glute focused leg day. If you know me, you know I love my dynamic stretches prior to my workouts. Static stretches prior to my lifting sessions are a big no for me. I'll explain why in another video. Although today's workout is glute focused, the whole leg will be worked out. You can be sure of that. So let's hit these stretches and let's get this. Let's start with kneeling squats. I first did two sets with just the 45 pound bar that are not shown. Do this with weight that you feel is light for you. I then did four heavy sets of 15 repetitions each. Since we're aiming for a glute focused workout, make sure to hinge your hips and maintain a good contraction of the glutes throughout the entire movement. Moving on to B stance deadlifts. Let's aim for four sets of 10 reps on each leg. One of the most important things to look out for when doing any deadlift is your neck position. Your neck should be aligned with your spine and not looking forward or upward and your chest tall. Only go as low as your lower body allows you, meaning if you are feeling these in your lower back, then you're probably going too low. The main goal today is to activate the glutes. Therefore, work with the range of motion that you currently have.
Step ups are one of, or if not, my favorite glute workout ever. Aim for four sets of eight to 10 reps on each side. The trick to these are really to just think of it as, as a push down instead of a step up. Focusing on pressing down into the step with the working leg instead of just getting yourself up there is going to make all the difference. We are keeping the hinge at the hips and make sure to not go on your toes or lift the weight up or your weight up in this case with anything other than your legs or your glutes. If you cannot do these without touching the ground with your non-working leg, you can tap the ground slightly to give yourself a little boost coming up. Lastly, single-sided hip thrusts. Four sets of eight reps each side. As you can probably tell, I love unilateral movements. These are just like regular hip thrusts, but we're doing them one leg at a time, which can help with muscle balance and max activation on each side. For these, if your foot is too close to you, the quad might be felt more, and if your leg is too far, then the hamstring might be felt more. Focus on what you feel until you find what position works best for you as far as glute activation. Everyone is different. Try not to go on your toes and squeeze. We killed the gems. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Love y'all.